Track is going to write the story of these next few days. Looking ahead to three first alert weather days, you might just want to stay home Friday. Here's first alert chief meteorologist Jennifer Valdez. Jen, you're trapping, you're tracking mm -hmm. the tropical storm Helene, mm -hmm. and it's going to impact us. Big time impacts, and that's really the biggest concern. We're talking about the potential of historic rainfall totals and strong wind. So power outage is going to be a major concern as well as flash flooding. You look at Helene right now, doesn't look too much of anything. It's a tropical storm, 45 mile an hour winds, doesn't look like much. But the problem is the storm is going to move over the Gulf of Mexico where the water is incredibly warm. It's an area very favorable for development. And when we see these tropical systems moving over the Gulf, you tend to see them explode in intensity. And that's exactly what we're expecting with Helene over the next couple of days. And it is forecast to be a major hurricane as it approaches the coast of Florida as a category three hurricane. That is a major hurricane Thursday evening with 115 mile an hour winds. And this is a fast moving storm, so it is going to move quickly from the Florida coast straight up into North Georgia. Strong enough that it's forecast to be a tropical storm as it moves over our area early Friday morning, and then it will move out of here. But with it, we are expecting very heavy rain and strong gusty winds even before the storm even gets here. That's because we have a front tomorrow. Tomorrow is a first alert weather day, although we're starting off mostly dry in the morning and around lunchtime after about 1 2 p.m. We're going to see some very heavy rainfall along a cold front that will move through the area. And as you watch this rain tomorrow, Notice we'll see repeated periods of heavy rainfall throughout the afternoon and into the evening. Then as we head into Thursday, another first alert weather day. Notice again, heavy rainfall continues Thursday morning. This will come with gusty winds that get even stronger Thursday evening into Friday morning. 6 p.m. We're still tracking some heavy rain and then Thursday night at 11 p.m. Still pouring rain across North Georgia. Friday morning, more of the same as the center of the storm potentially moves over portions of our viewing area. It's not until Friday afternoon that rain is expected to get out of here. So the problem here, we're going to see repeated heavy tropical rain for hours and hours. In fact, we're going to see it for days. This is just one computer model, but as you can see, it's forecasting five to 10 inches of rain. We could see some locally higher amounts. So flooding is a big concern for all of North Georgia. Flood watch in effect starts Wednesday afternoon through Friday afternoon for the possibility of five to 10 inches of rain. Again, locally higher amounts are in the forecast. Right now, we are mostly dry. We do have a warning for portions of Hall and Banks that was set to expire at 415. And we are seeing overall dry conditions for the rest of the afternoon into the evening. Only about a 20 to 30% chance of rain for tonight. Temperatures stay very warm and muggy. Low 70s tomorrow morning, mostly dry tomorrow morning, but by the afternoon we will see very heavy rain and storms in the forecast, a high of only 80, and that rain continues through Friday. Good reminder, download the First Alert weather app. It is free. You can see the radar, the future radar, but more importantly, we are sending you updates directly to your phone so you are always in the know with the changing forecast. And anytime we get a new track from the National Hurricane Center, we are sending that through the First Alert weather app. So download it if you don't have it yet. Good news is we will see drier weather by the weekend. Jennifer, thank you.